Hi everyone, I'm going to make some an original page. I just had a vague idea what I want to do. Not really know how to achieve it, but I'll try. Uh, I'm going to start with the... Uh, well, I, it's not a modeling paste, it's uh, like you have wool compound, this is for wood and I find that it's easier and cheaper to use this uh, thing I I would uh, it, it usually I will uh, use either this or a wall compound and it's uh, I, I buy it in the hardware store and as I said it's uh, just uh, cheaper than modeling paste and I don't know why, but it doesn't dry on me as fast as modeling paste. I've got here some uh, torn paper that I'm going to uh, put here on my page. Uh, let me put some parchment paper below because I don't want everything to stick. Like so. and turning it around so it will be easier for me maybe I need to go <laughs> against so it won't uh, get uh, under the torn paper I'm not trying for straight lines I just want a uh, texture on my page and I'm putting a nice coat of this uh, paste because I'm I want to try and imprint on it with some stuff well that's what I'm gonna try we'll see if it will work Okay, lifting and let's try for the other side. Put it here and try. Eh. I should have thought about it before. I had to make the left side before I made the right side never mind for me each uh, page in uh, my art journal no matter which art journal is an experiment each time it's an experiment I think it helps me if I think about it as an experiment I am not afraid to try things and I'm not afraid in if something doesn't work so here we go yeah okay moving this aside to uh, print on it I want to make some uh, this is a cookie cutter and I'm hoping yeah maybe a little bit pressing and moving yeah well, I like it, but it will take time to uh, dry. Let's clean the cookie cutter. Crafter's best friend, baby wipes. And let's 
let's go for the other side like so okay basically this is it of course if you want to make more uh, prints uh, indentation in your uh, paste whatever paste you're using you can do you can doodle with the, a, a pen on it and make whatever design you want or use a plastic card uh, to make uh, lines you can do many things okay so i'm going to let it dry and then i'm gonna come back i'm back it's not uh, really uh, dry but i want to continue and i want to stamp uh, it mostly here i've got the stamp of this uh, hearts that i want to put in the background i'm using a uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink will not stain. The only one I've got, I found it uh, in one of my uh, trips to Europe. We don't have Tim Holtz here. It's too uh, square, I'm thinking. I need something like this to stamp. Maybe it will go also here. What's the worst that could happen? Let's try <laughs> stamping on the paste. <laughs> okay, so now I want some musical notes. Moving this aside, I've got stamps of musical notes. Just randomly, I'm putting them down. I don't even know the, the right side for it. So Yeah. Quite like it. Now I'm going to start I want to put or sprays or watercolors uh, something that will go with the flow go with the indentations with the texture and i'm hoping it will be okay that my uh, paste is not completely dry i'm gonna try and uh, let's take some towel really is wet okay so I don't have a choice I really need to let it dry a bit more I'll be back I'm back let's hope it's uh, in, uh, dry enough for what I have in mind I'm using uh, uh, watercolors this is for kids it's cheap it's also from the cheap store nothing special about it use whatever you have you can try sprays here and you can try uh, if you have uh, brushes whatever works with water and can spread I 
I'm not completely uh, sure about no, this is green not completely sure about the color that I want on my page so I'm playing around as you can see I'm gonna try let's see I've got here sepia which is the brown that I really like okay that's more like it and this is supposed to be some kind of purple we'll see what comes out of it Now I'm thinking that maybe I should have coated everything with gesso, but never mind. Where is my water? Maybe if I'll spray it with a little water, it will more. There will be more flow of this. interesting <laughs> you can never know what will happen with this stuff I'm talking about the sprays and how they are spreading okay I'm thinking I need to again let it dry and see what I have once everything is dry. I'll be back. I'm back. I'm uh, really uh, glad, uh, satisfied with how uh, my background turned out. Uh, I'm going to stamp now. I've got this clear stamp and I'm going to try, I don't know if it will work, I want to try and stamp it first with gold and then go again after it's dry but and put brown but I want to put it so it's not exactly where uh, it was the first print uh, I will show you in a minute and I hope it will be more understandable what I'm trying to do okay so here goes one with the gold and you can hardly see it but of course if you turn it to the light you will see it uh, better and now I want to put the brown Maybe I should clean it first from the gold. And I'll try with the brown and if it won't work, I will go in with black. With a uh, black archival ink that I have. We'll see. Now I'm no, I want it a little bit uh, to the side from the first print the gold only should be like um, some kind of shadow for better explanation yeah that's what I was <laughs> going for okay so it does work 
so now for the next uh, this is some kind of keyhole and again I'm going with the gold of course uh, if you have embossing powders it would be even better but I don't have embossing powder so I am making what I <laughs> do with what I have I'm holding it down because I found that uh, it works better that way it's like the paper needs time to absorb the ink don't know how to explain it better and it can barely be seen but okay <laughs> cleaning the gold from my stamp with a baby wipe and now I'm going in <coughs> sorry with the brown again I'm moving a little bit to the side maybe it would have been better with black but I think it it's more going with the old theme of the page with the brown yay that's what I wanted I didn't want in in your face so it did work for me <laughs> nice try probably will use this technique uh, again and I'm thinking maybe uh, two or three hearts here but I'm not sure I want to think about it I'll be right back I'm back so I want some heart here and I've got this uh, doilies and I've got a heart just a quick tip if you are not sure about something that you want to stamp or where to uh, uh, place it you if it's clear you can always go like this and see what fits you uh, where on the page so I'm going to take this heart doily and stamp it this time I'm not uh, doing the gold uh, underneath wait Yeah. Just a hint of another one here. And here. And I have a sticker. It was a red. I didn't like it, so I just went over it with a permanent marker to change the color and I don't care that you can still see a uh, red on the sides it just gives it more uh, definition This is it. <laughs> the modeling piece is uh, moving a little bit, and because it's still a uh, quite weight underneath, but I'll uh, just uh, when it's dry, I'll add here a little bit of uh, spray, and everything will be fixed. So this is it for this uh, original page. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
thank you for watching thank you for commenting and we'll i'll be seeing you in the next video bye